go. <laughs> so it's been oh more than a month and a half since I've updated you on my projects. Obviously my last video was the little yarn shopping expedition. Ah, so much fun. Big news. I finished Jen's present. <laughs> I can't show it to you. <laughs> I haven't given it to her yet, so we're gonna have to wait. But we've got an epic photo shoot planned. When we have the photo shoot and I give her the present, all will be revealed. And I might actually do a special video just for that. Okay. I really should plan these things out a lot better than I do. Other things what I have been doing. Do you remember the Drea Renee Knits So Faded Pint Sized that I'd, you know, hadn't planned on making but it sort of came my way? Well, I haven't finished it, but I'm at the bottom. I'm at the band now. So just doing the, uh, the ribbing at the bottom and then I'm actually going to do short sleeves on this. Look, I've done other things in between. So this is kind of my go back to project, I suppose, until, until it's all done. Yeah, the question will be, can I get Freya to wear it? Can I get her to wear it? Hopefully there's enough pink in it to uh, persuade her, but um, I think she would have preferred a lot more pink. She's going through a pink phase. We all had one. I, I know we did. I've only made one hat so far for Aquac and it's not quite finished. It was the one and only crocheted hat that I'd, or pattern that I'd chosen. Waves by Snowdrop Designs uh, and I did it in the totem that I was gifted uh, the very ancient totem if you remember you know you know this stuff little 25 gram balls so I think there's four and a bit 25 gram balls in here if you can do your maths it's just over 100 grams it's not a soft doesn't feel as soft like the yarn itself isn't too bad I mean it's not as soft as the things that I bought from the yarn market because it's crocheted and it's quite a dense fabric it just doesn't feel that soft so what I'm going to do is I'm going to block it or wash it and I'm going to try using some hair conditioner uh, after the wool wash and see what happens see if that helps in any way and I have made a pom-pom for it. I've gone with the blue. So a mix of blue. Also in wool, just from my stash. So I think that's going to look pretty, pretty rad, don't you? I'm going to wash it and then put the pom-pom on. I don't know about you, but I kind of prefer not washing the pom-pom. <laughs> what do you do? Do you pom-pom then wash or? Yeah, I don't know. Hey, want to see a video of me trimming my pom-pom? That's not a euphemism. Sorry, I couldn't help myself. Um, so yeah, that, that'll be nearly ready to go to Aquac soon, soon. The other little thing I whipped up for Freya for school was uh, like an ear warmer, just a crochet pattern. Oh gosh, I found it online. I wrote it down because I had to resize. So the, the original pattern was for Templi and I didn't have any dark blue Templi. So I had to do a bit of, ah, here we go, I did write it down. It's the Pico, is it Pico or Picot? I would say Pico, but what would I know? The Pico headband by The Turtle Trunk, available on YouTube and her blog. Obviously, links. I only had eight plies, so I had to do a little bit of maths, a little bit of maths, and I worked out how many stitches I was going to do. Now, of course, she's Freya's put it on her head and said, oh, it's itchy. So she won't wear it. Darling husband has kindly thought he could solve the problem and purchased some uh, fleece to line it with. Thank you, darling. But I'm not quite sure how to go about doing that because obviously if I line it, I need to, I need to take into consideration like the give so that one can actually put it on over their head, etc. And also tricky to line with the twist, so I'd probably have to line it from there around to there. I don't know. Has anyone got any ideas for this one? I would love some help on sort of the best way to tackle that. And I'd probably hand saw it. <laughs> Prey had a Barbie party, as in Barbie doll party to go to on the weekend, and I made her costume. So I got the sewing machine out. Um, 
I'm not a seamstress. Got very flustered. Um, but I did. I managed to achieve something, and she had a costume to go to go to the party with. So, mm. yeah, hand sewing, hand sewing. If you have an idea of how to approach that, I would love to know about it. Hey, you want to see Freya do some dancing? <laughs> oh, and of course, for the party, I had to make a gift. Well, I didn't have to, but you know. Dug my own grave there. Again, with the power of editing, I actually filmed a video before we went to the party so that I could talk about what I made. All right, you ready? Wanna see, wanna see what I made? Let's talk about this. Um, yeah, I look like I've been punched in the face. Don't worry, it's just herpes. Okay, I've just finished this for one of Faya. I've just finished this for one of Freya's friends. So it's not my pattern, it's a pattern by Julia with two eyes, Julia Pyre, P-Y-H-A. So when I put this up on Instagram, I will tag her as well. And of course, links to the pattern down below. I bought the pattern from Etsy. I'm so happy with it. So happy with it. First of all, her pattern was actually for a velour yarn and I didn't have any of that and I didn't want to go and buy any of that. I don't know how I feel about velour yarn. What do you think? I'm seeing a lot of velour things out there at the moment and I, I don't know if I like it. I don't know, I just, I really like the, the cotton look. So I did mine in all cotton because I've got plenty of that stuff. She also did a solid white tail with the coloured fins. And I opted for the other coloured tail or a, well, I've gone with a rainbow or a variegated cotton. And if I hadn't have done that, I would have just done a solid colour, but not white. Freya helped me choose a lot of the other colours. She definitely wanted pink and purple hair. And I asked if she wanted a golden horn and no, she wanted, she wanted the pinky, peachy, peach as she puts it, peach horn. And she helped me choose the tail colours and the top colours. Now, eyes. I don't have any awesome eyes with the sparkly irises. I need to get my hands on some. <laughs> Desperately. They are so cool. I also didn't have any good solid black ones. So I attempted to use what I had and then quickly regretted it. What I had was... Where are they? Did I put them in the bin maybe? Oh no, I put them in here. What I had were these ones. I'm not sure what you would use these for. I don't know if I got a photo showing the full effect of what she looked like, you know, unfinished with these eyes. Something like this. Anyway, my darling husband, who is a quite the artist, painted them for me. Painted the eyes and fixed them. <laughs> It looks so much better. Pretty happy with that. And then if you notice her little nostrils. I had a whole heap of pink buttons that I'd picked up from the op shop. And I thought, oh, you know, there's all different sizes. Hopefully I find, you know, a normal button in the, in the right size. And then ah, I spotted the love hearts. And I adore them. I think that's my favourite thing about it is the love heart and nostrils. Oh, I'm very happy with this, I must say. I'm going to pick some of the fluff that's stuck to her eyeball. <laughs> She's also got pipe cleaners inside to shape the arms and the body. But uh, I didn't do a super good job. And I've discovered that the pipe cleaner shifted up inside and it's not sticking, it's not down in the tail anymore, so it's not really doing its job. So if I need to do that again, I will be a bit more uh, on the ball, and I think what would have happened is when I put the cross bit in to work on the arms, it must have shifted up and I wasn't paying attention. The other thing, I actually really like how the hair is done, so it's basically, I chained the amount, slip stitched the pieces, Chained, slip stitched the piece to the head uh, and then chained down the other side. So you get two strands per colour per piece and then it's just all done down the centre really. Yeah, I think it works really well. I think she's lovely. I hope Freya's friend adores her too.
Mm. What else have I been up to? Every now and then when I go and get a, a, a coffee from a cafe, I've been taking my projects with me or a project with me and sitting there and having a little knit or crochet and um, that's really nice. I like doing that. We should all do that. Knit in public, knit in public, crochet in public, crochet in public. There is something else that I'm supposed to be making and I keep forgetting. Sorry. Last year my brother and his partner commissioned me to make um, a blanket for a baby, a special baby coming into their life. They've asked me to make another one for another baby and they will actually pay me for it, which is novel. I keep forgetting! This is just ridiculous. I need to put reminders or just, I need to just start making the squares and then have them sitting in with all my stuff to remind me to do it. It's a cool project and I enjoyed making the other one, but <laughs> the other things I need to make, Freya's got a special friend's birthday coming up in August and I've already planned that. Uh, I'm going to make a unicorn. I've made a version of it before. Uh, so it's a pattern I already have. So more on that later, but I'm going to make one for the friend, one for another friend, and one for Freya. So the three of them, we call them the three musketeers, will uh, have one each. And hopefully it'll be special. Oh, as I said, once we get the photo shoot done for Jen's present, I will do a special video all on that. And it'll be ace. And I have already filmed little bits for it, but I want to wait till we have, have an epic photo shoot. I think... That's me for now. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, uh, what else? Oh, share my videos if you know anyone who's interested in this kind of stuff. That would be great too. Hey, have a good day. Yay! <clears throat>